What's up, YouTube? Um, it's just a little video of something I ordered the other day. Obviously not this camera. I picked that up at the store, actually. But um, what I wanted to talk about is on this camera, as you see, I don't have the lens cap on there. But we're going to be talking about the camera lens. Um, if you picked up this camera, which I'm going to have to end up zooming in. I'm going to have to end up getting my... There we go. Got my flashlight on. As you can see, in this part of the lens, there's... Let's give this a little zoom in here. Just kind of using a flashlight to illuminate these little uh, grooves right here. As you can see around the camera lens, there's little grooves cut in it that resemble a filter thread. How if we take, this is a little 10 times uh, macro lens. All it really does is act like a magnifying glass. I don't know what it'll do if I try to put it in front of this lens. Huh. See, it just kind of just magnifies. <coughs> um, so I I bought these when I for my uh, for my Canon DSLR um, before I bought the extension tubes, and I'm actually I bought a set of um, four of them. I think it was a plus one, plus two, plus six, and then this one, which is a plus ten. Um, trying to get my filter thread adapter off of the macro lens because it kind of got stuck. Not the filter, well, I'll go ahead and zoom you back out. Um, so, right here we have our macro little lens filter, whatever you want to call it, or diopter. Um, I don't know if I can get the. There we go. I like this having a little cap to focus on it. Um, I'm using a 52 to 58 millimeter. This is a 58 millimeter. Um, the reason I did that is because I didn't want to go buy another set of these, and I also already had this one. I bought these to use on my 42.8 lens. Um, but I needed something to be able to attach this to this, which I'm gonna go ahead and start off before I get get too far into the video. Um, this is not a Canon product. This is something I found on Amazon. You can search online, find it. Uh, I just typed in Canon SX500, which is the model of this camera, <coughs> and then um, filter thread or filter adapter and what that brought up was this which this one I got from Amazon and on the back side right here there's this is actually threaded on this side because I had it on the camera actually when I noticed if I turn it counterclockwise it would look like it's you know coming off of the camera so I decided to see what happened if I keep unscrewing and it unscrewed However, this isn't threaded, this is just grooves that are cut in there for the lens cap to snap in place, which is in the bag, because when I put this on here, I'm a, I need to go to the store and get a 52 millimeter cap, or if this is threaded onto it, which, if that's threaded onto the back and stuck onto the front of the camera, I can just use a 58 millimeter lens cap on the front. So, this thing is bugging me that it's stuck. Um, regardless, so this basically just goes on the front and presses on there. Um, when I when I originally bought this camera, I actually went right down the road from the Best Buy to a little camera shop. And I'd actually, while I was in the store looking at these cameras, I had searched to see if these were actual filter threads on here, which they weren't. And they had, they had a bunch of people talking about the uh, 
that they make these little rings and this is a metal ring and um looked online and everybody's saying you know this, the lens isn't meant to support the weight or anything so if you put this on on here it could damage the camera you know, so just take that into account and obviously if you have this on here and these threads are all chewed up the camera will probably know that you had something screwed on here and that's what damaged your lens so but this I bought it with the intention of doing this and hopefully it doesn't mess anything up the one thing I do want to do is because this can unscrew I'd like to and just to keep you know if this is on here and something bumps it or whatever or anything because it's not really bulky but it does add, add a little bit to the front but um I'm looking for a way to permanently affix this or semi permanently just to either you know, super glue or some kind of adhesive put it on there and then put it into place <coughs> so um that's about it um it works pretty good um one thing i can i'll recommend is use a tripod because as you can tell when you go to take a picture There's kind of a delay between when you press the shutter and when it actually captures the image that the screen's completely black so you really can't tell if you're holding it where you want it so I find myself I have it held where I want it and then when I click it to take the picture I end up not getting exactly or I, I bumped it just enough out of focus or something so I recommend composing your shot using a tripod um, you can get something as simple as one of these little, kind of a little too close, but I've just, I've been having one of these little small tripods, you just attach the camera on the top, you have your pan and tilt and everything, so that's it for that, um, but use a little tripod or something, this camera's not all that heavy, just something small and stable, or you can go big and use, you know, the same tripod you use for your DSLR, so that's about it. Um, thanks for watching, and um, the little, these little adapters, are, you know, about ten to fifteen dollars, depending on where you get them. Depending on where you get them from, some places, you know, include you know uh, lens cap, a few other things. I just ordered mine off of Amazon, so that way my order would qualify for free shipping. So, thanks for watching, and if you have any other tips, tricks, ideas for this camera, or anything DIY, things that you purchased for it anything let me know in the comments